What is going on YouTube? In today's video, I'm sharing with you eight steps that I took to start my Airbnb business. These eight steps can be implemented into anyone's life and they're actionable steps. Anybody could act on them. I'm sharing them through my experience. You guys want the details. You guys want to know exactly how to get from point A to point B. And that's why I'm going to share them with you. There's eight simple steps. Each one of them I went through myself and you guys can take action on these steps. What is going on guys? My name is Robert. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a rental arbitrage host from Springfield, Missouri, it's a tiny town here in the Midwest. And I share my experience with my Airbnb business on YouTube. I've made plenty of videos going over anything you can think of regarding the business model. I'm not even kidding. You guys can go find my startup costs, my net profit on a monthly basis. Uh, all the, all the details are there. So you guys are more than welcome to go check those out. And if you guys want to find out more in depth information, be sure to check out my Facebook group, Airbnb mastery through into arbitrage. Uh, you can just go search on Facebook and I will gladly accept your invitation. So let's say that you just have this brilliant idea. That's the, kind of like the first step that led me into taking action was having the idea, hearing that it worked for other people, seeing that it worked for other people, having that conviction that the Airbnb business model is effective. Once you have that, the next step for you is to find out what your target market is, what it's going to cost you, how long will it take you to recoup your profits or make your money back? How long will it take you to break even the work? So have all that into consideration. I wouldn't necessarily say go write a two page business plan. Just have an idea of what the business model is going to look like in your situation and structure that appropriately for whatever market you're in. Once you've done that, the next step and a very wise step would be to go create a legal entity. Now this is not necessary. I had a subscriber comment before and said that you don't need an LLC, which in all honesty, you do not need one but it is highly recommended simply because you're protecting yourself from the guests, from the people you have coming into your home. That's a very wise to set up a legal entity. And that way that legal entity will give you access to a business bank account, to a business profile, which is essentially what you want to build. You want to build that right from the start. So go create an LLC or some legal entity of some sort. And once you've done that, you are now ready to move on to the next step. And that is register for taxes. You have to file for an EIN number. So once you have your business LLC or whatever, like once you've created that entity, you're able to register it with the IRS and you're able to create an employer identification number or an EIN number. This is all stuff that I've done and I did it on my own. It took me probably two hours to figure all this stuff out. So for those of you guys who are out there paying thousands of dollars to get this stuff set up, you guys are doing it wrong and I teach you exactly how to do that in my course. And I've made a section. I think that is the selling point for my course right there because I walk you through setting up your legal entity, setting up your LLC and your EIN number, all that stuff. I walk you through that in my course. And I know that people pay thousands of dollars to go get this stuff set up, which is ridiculous in my mind. I spent $50 in the state of Missouri to create my legal entity, my tax identification over all that. So that is all that there is to it. For those of you guys who are spending thousands of dollars, spending too much money, please do me a favor and do your own research, figure out how to do it on your own. You're saving yourself a lot of time and energy. And I'm just being frank with you guys. I'm being honest with you guys. I personally know of a case where a kid pulled out a personal loan of 10 grand and spent $4,500 just to make an LLC. And this really, you know, it really ticks me off it. Oh my gosh, I can't, I can't imagine someone would do that. So guys, be very careful. Don't fall into a scam artist trap. Don't listen to what other people are saying, you know, do your own research. That's what it comes down to. Don't even listen to me. Go do your own research, figure it out on your own. So once you have your employer identification number or your EIN number, you can now go to a bank and you can hand them this information and you can open up a business bank account. Now having a business bank account has its benefits. It keeps a very detailed account of your expenses and you can track everything very easily. I highly recommend you don't mix your personal and business bank accounts. That just causes confusion when it comes time for tax season. So guys, do me a favor, go make yourself a business bank account. This is step four, by the way. And these four steps that I've shared with you, you're already halfway there as far as getting started. There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to start today. So you go to the bank, they give you your business bank account, and most likely there's gonna be some kind of monthly charge. They're gonna charge you a service fee. And depending on the bank, it could be cheap. It could be like a little on the higher end. I'm spending $10 a month to keep my business bank account open here in Springfield, Missouri. It's super cheap. I think it's on the lower end of uh, bank accounts. I know some bank accounts charge like 30 to 40 a month. Regardless, you want to keep track of those expenses and that's the easiest way to do it. So step six kind of should be step one, but a lot of people don't know how to deal with this stuff. And a lot of people run away when they hear this. 
So guys, step six is honestly get your listing, get the property permitted, get the proper licensing that it re is required for Airbnb and short-term rentals. Without these permits, without the legal regulated side of Airbnb, you're probably gonna face heavy fines. I'm talking 20 grand, you know, $1,000 a day fines, $20,000 a day fines, who knows? I've heard of very extreme instances where people are getting fined for not having their permits for the short-term rentals. So guys, go to City Hall, Go speak to whoever's sitting there at the building and development desk and ask them what is required for me to operate short-term rental for this zone, for the zip code, and they'll be more than happy to share that information with you. That's their job. They're paid government employees. They're sitting there waiting for you to come by and ask them. And simply go there, tell them I have this property at this address. I want to know what it will take for me to have this license for short-term rentals. So once you're regulated, that's half the battle right there. I'm actually going to pick up my permit for my listing today. For all of you guys who have been waiting and keeping up with my story, I'm finally picking up my permit for the short-term rental that I currently have here in Springfield today. I'll share more of that experience in another video. Getting your permits and proper licensing is such an important step. Make sure you do that. The next step for you is to go get business insurance. This is step seven. This is important because you're gonna end up having employees, maybe you wanna hire cleaners in the future. Go ahead and do the research, go ahead and look into the business insurance aspect of everything. And once again, if you're doing rental arbitrage, you might need to get renter's insurance. And this is probably required. I wanna say that the Airbnb host guarantee is not insurance. I mean, they make it seem like that, they sell that like as you know, up to $1 million of coverage. But what you actually need to do is go get proper insurance. They don't cover a lot of little things that you'd probably expect them to. They structure that $1 million guarantee in a way to where it's very difficult to get your stuff covered if, if it does go missing or if it goes damaged. So be sure to do your research once again. The next step for you is to have an action plan. So take action on these eight things and I guarantee you'll have a listing before you know it. Now. I didn't really go into details on how to pitch the landlord. I didn't go into details on how to acquire the listing. I'm assuming you know, you've already done that and you've done the market analysis, all that stuff. So from step one to step eight, any of you guys watching this right now can take action. So taking action has been a thing I've battled with in the past and I've learned, and I want you guys to take note of this, I've learned that the best time to act is now. Don't wait till tomorrow, don't wait till the next day. There's no such thing as perfect timing, the perfect time is now. And guys, I mean that with all my heart. For any of you guys watching this, these are eight brief and actionable steps I'm sharing with you guys today. I know I didn't really go in depth on them. I just think that they're very valuable pieces of information. And if you wanna just write them down one through eight, you already know what you have to do. I'm at where I'm at today because of the action I took. And without that, guys, who knows where I would be. I'd probably still be stuck at my job or I'd be scrambling to find a way to make ends meet for myself. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I post Airbnb and rental arbitrage related videos, investing videos. I do talk about Stash Invest. My Stash vid just hit 15K and I'm making an update video soon. So for all my Airbnb audience, uh, expect a Stash video soon. One of my subscribers requested that I make an update video. I think that's just proper. So I think you guys will find a lot of value in my channel and I would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button and share this with anybody that you think could use this information. With that being said, guys, I hope you all have a great day and I will see you guys all in the next one. For any of you guys who want to learn more in detail on how to get started with Airbnb, I put together this course which will constantly be updated with information. For a one-time payment, you are getting a source of information that is gonna be forever updated. Um, I myself have personally spent up to $600 for a summer school class at a college and haven't even gotten the credit for it. So like. I think education is shifting guys and I definitely think you guys should consider something like this if you don't want to sift through tons of information online trying to piece together ways to build your business and build your empire. So I'm going to go through some of the curriculum real quick guys. I go through a step by step process and I talk about mostly everything you would need to get started right like most of you guys have all these questions regarding the business model. Well guys, what I have put together here is all that information and access to myself. Once you are enrolled in this course, you are my priority. That is something that I wanna make very clear from the start. This is something that I look at as a long-term development with you guys and building a relationship with you guys. So I wanna make sure that you guys have success with your listing and I'm gonna be there for you guys and I'll have a more personal connection to you once you join. Uh, once again, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I give you guys the process of starting and setting up your legal entity and that alone guys is worth the price of the course because you're paying legal zoom three hundred dollars up to four hundred dollars depending on the state you're in you're paying someone for the service of 
setting up your entity. And I, like I said before, I know somebody who has just dropped 4,500 bucks for an LLC and I show you how to do it the cheapest way possible. I think that right there is a lot of value. Another thing that I think is really in high demand is the lease agreement that I have with the landlord. I share this with you guys. Graham Stephan, sick. I'm not gonna get top comment on Graham's vid because I'm currently filming, oh well. But yeah guys, I definitely think you guys should check this out. I give you tons of information and I'm adding information to it as, you know, as we sit here, I'm currently working on a bunch of curriculum uh, to add to it to make sure that it's valuable. Once again guys, uh, if you wanna just take action today, uh, you'll have complete access to me. Just consider like a one-on-one -on -one mentorship. I'll be able to answer questions for you guys in detail and in depth, maybe even schedule a few phone calls. So guys, I recommend you check it out and I'll see you guys there.